Hello. Mm, we are here to study. Sorry. Uh, it's scientific. Lower it. Regretted giants. Mm. In case you don't know, it's uh, right here. Next, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this in here, we have seen things like that. Where it is actually, and there is something kind of in bracket kind of thing. Is supposed to work where you keep stops in here and it is actually bolted but in our case the same thing but it is not bolted joint it's related suppose I have a bracket and there are four rivets on a Centrically being loaded by the sorry, uh, our CG is somewhere in here, which is at the centricity. Hence, we say that it is not such a case where the load is passing through the CG of the related system, it is at certain offset, at a certain distance, or you can say it is at a certain eccentricity given by you. In this video we will study the primary shear forces. I am drawing this part. These are nothing but our rivets. Right? There are four rivets actually. Right? One, two, three, four. So let me draw this in a wide zoom revision. We can find this CZ by using the value of X bar and Y bar. As you know, X equal to A summation A I X I by A I summation and Y bar is nothing but summation A I y by summation a yeah, i isn't it so once we know if we consider this point as o the origin we can find out this cg we can find out this cg that we have shown here okay and let's see we have heard a one term in engineering mechanics that it is uh, this force P can be superimposed, which we, in which we realize that it is being shared by all these four units in such a manner that we are showing here, where it will be P by four, P by four, P by four and P by 4 and we will call it uh, PS1 the primary shear force P means primary as shear and 1 for the limit 1 is equal to PS2 PS3 PS4 which will be equal to P by n numbers of limit P is the lower and n is the number of limits that is P by 4 so all this will be 
equal to e by 4. So these are our nothing but our primary forces. Isn't it? Primary shear forces. In the next video, we will be learning about secondary shear forces, which will be called as FS1, FS2, FS3, and FS4. Put the commas. Okay. We'll find out. So, uh, it's totally about understanding the application of engineering mechanics. Thank you.